and here we are up in orbit i forgot how much fun camera tools actually is just to watch it go by um i'd like to get that mod again that does the auto getting me into orbit um not make jeb make jeb just makes you lazy um but there is one that does the the gravity turn and gets you right up into orbit all on its own which is great because you just set camera tools off and you just let it go but, but yes we are up here in orbit we still have loads of fuel left but i turn the engines off i don't have any ignitions left so i don't really want to fire them anymore although i am going to risk it um i am gonna give it a go so with the moon up there and uh curving down in the center you want to put it at about four o'clock between four and five o'clock and the maneuver up -dum. that is target and when you get there the moon should be there waiting for you something like that there we go Awesome, that is exactly what we want. Cool. So, 16 seconds we still, and it's going to be 800 meters a second. We've still got 911 meters a second on this. I'm going to risk it. We are going to risk it. We're going to fire the engines again and see what happens. And it's probably going to go wrong. One of them's going to go wrong. The other ones will probably work. It'll all be random and kaboomy and fine. But I don't mind because we can just dump that and go straight to this engine here. Um, should things go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, I didn't set up my auto things, so let's extend these antennas. And antenna, a bomb, and uh, yeah, I think we'll be good to go once we get around there. So. Let's find out. It's a bit weird that you can make these high quality and they've only got two ignitions. But then, as I said, I think these are designed as upper stage engines, not as launch engines. That's their intended purpose, although they work really well as launch engines. So, uh, I'm not complaining. Maybe this craft is just slightly over engineered. Who knows? I have to ask the person who made it. Right, so let's go around to uh, here, and um, yeah, that's it. If the thing is, if these don't fire correctly, then we're never going to make it with that engine. Although we should do, we should do. We'll just be a little bit off. It should be fine. We'll still get there. We'll still get there. So let's give it a go. Um, and I've got this start burn time down here as well. That's new. Um, I think this is actually part of Kerbalism, isn't it? This this is a uh, Kerbal Space Program, sorry, this down here. Part of the advanced tweakables, which kind of replaces better burn time, but I don't know if the two work together. It has been updated for 1.8, so I guess it's supposed to work together with it. I don't know. But I'm sure this, this is part of default Kerbal. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do you reckon? How many engines are going to explode? How many are going to go wrong? You reckon all of them are going to fire? Are we going to get that? Go! All of them fired. All the engines fired. None of them have any ignitions left. But all of them did fire. Which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So that means we're going to get to the moon. Um. Oh, down, down throttle, down throttle. Uh, focus view. Um, oh, 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 okay. I kind of expected that to get closer to the moon, but it didn't. It got way past it. So we're now going to dump that stage because I'm not going to risk firing the engines again. Dump the stage. Okay, and we're going to point ourselves retrograde. Let's also dump our fairing so we get some more solar light. We need to point ourselves retrograde. But we don't want to run into that. That's kind of in the way now. Let's go this way a little bit. Fire the engine ever so slightly. Look at that pillar. Oh, the, the plume. The plume and the, the smoke on the solid rocket boosters. I was not expecting the camera to be so so fogged out with them. That that was that was really surprising. Okay. So let's bring ourselves down and try and get this a bit closer to the moon. 
don't quite know how to do that. Let's move it away. That's moving away. Uh, am I above or below it? I'm not. I'm kind of correct. I suppose I can make a mid course burn. Uh, I've got seven ignitions left. That's fine. I need to save at least two to get over to there. Um, but we want to be quite close to the moon. When we drop off our. Not quite as close as we were last time. Um, where we ended up um, practically in the moon. Uh, we ended up dropping our, our rover onto the surface of the moon pretty much. So I want to do that. That's what I want to do. Do, 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 do. And coming around the back of the moon will speed us up. And will send us out into interstellar space. Cool. Okay. Is there any way we can rig this to end up on the same sort of inclination as Minmus? Uh, I think that's pretty good. Let's go up a bit. There we go. That is pretty good. We we'll end up on the same inclination as Minmus there. Uh, what if I bring that back so we don't quite go out into interplanetary space? We don't really want to do that. Let's let's do that. Don't get someone near Mimus. I don't know where Mimus will be when we get there. And it puts us... Yeah, that's good enough. That's good enough. We can then circularize and land at our leisure with the probe. Okay. Now, if I set this as the target... Uh, close approach is there. Mimus will be there at close approach. So we'll... Need to... Uh... If we actually go a bit further out, we can get... Uh, Mumus will be further away. Okay, that's fine. We could get to there. So that would be our closest approach. And when we're down here, Mumus will be here. So we'd have to slow down from right here. Because we're going to be in front of it. So what we want to do then, if you want to do... Oh, that's going to get us a second look. Uh, maybe we, want to, we do actually want to speed up. We want to go something like that. Yep. And then... Do, 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 do. Oh, there we go. We can get an encounter with Mimus as well. How's that? That's awesome. And how close will we be to the moon? About the same. Cool. There we go. There we go. So we don't. We can. Only, we only need one more ignition for this, and then we can go off. And then we'll just use another one to slow down in the moon uh, at the Mimus, which is awesome. That's exactly what we want. Right. Okay, let's walk to that manoeuvre. I could redo it at any point, it doesn't have to be done exactly where I've got it there. Yeah, I could do it. Uh, it's quite a bit, it's a nine second burn, but... Yeah, it could really be done sort of anywhere, I suppose. Basically firing orbital. Until we eventually get the encounter. So, if I get rid of that, and then just fire a bottle now, and I'm going to turn the engine up to about a quarter, and just watch this go, what should happen is we will end up getting our second encounter there. Yep, that's fine. But if our practice will go out, if we carry on firing orbital. And eventually it'll end up over here somewhere where Mimbus is. There's, there's Mimbus coming along. Oh, I've lost. Ooh. Now we fire nice and gently. That was technically two ignitions. Gotta remember this. Boom, there we go. There we go. Wow, that ignition thing is really, really difficult. 
with tire maneuvers. I suppose that's where RCS comes in. You get somewhat close with the main engine and then you use RCS to do little tweaks. So, mm. but there we go. We are on our way. I go here, we're gonna be coming uh, we're way down there, but that's fine. That doesn't matter. We we can start slowing down there and get close to it, and then put this in an orbit of it. This is already in orbit, and then we've got another one there. So we're going to have like a third one in orbit. There's our rover on the surface. It's actually in the darkness now, so it will run out of power. But um, yeah, but we could we could change this to have a very we could slow this down. I suppose we could try and do a maneuver to bring this closer. Drop off our rover and have our main ship just go off if we wanted to. Could end up anywhere. It's got plenty of Delta V on it. It's got no science equipment though. And the uh, these antennas aren't fantastic. Kind of dark as well. Let me have a look at my settings. Did I actually turn up the ambient? No, I did not. That's why I wonder why things were looking a bit weird. I normally don't play with these, but for YouTube, there we go. There we go. Now you can see. Yeah, YouTube makes things darker anyway, so. Look, that's what you get for reinstalling the game and not remembering your settings. Okay. Let's go to the moon. Bum, 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 bum. Come on, come on. I actually want to just go to the periapsis of the moon. And uh, once we're here, we can drop the probe off. And uh, then carry on with everything we need to do. So, yeah. Um, however, why is this stopped? Come on. There we go. Right. Um, but let's warp to our hurry ups. Do, 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 do. Let's aim our camera down here somewhere. And what we want to do is we want to decouple this. Oh. And we want to be on this craft here. Awesome. Right. And then we're going to enable the fuel, activate the engine, point ourselves. Retro oh, I need to turn that one onto normal mode. Uh, actually, I want to change this one to just pilot mode only. There we go. So I control that one, and the SCS controls the other one. So the SCS is the the bigger reaction wheel. Just so the SCS doesn't fight against me when I'm maneuvering with that. Um, and what we want to do is we want to drop ourselves into orbit. So fire the engine. Firing, why are you not firing? Uh, oh, because your thrust has been disabled. There we go. Bye bye. <coughs> and uh, accelerate a bit of time here. Oh, yes, I know going faster than so much can wreck craft. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Go faster. Maybe I should have used the main craft to slow us down a bit more. Hmm. It is from using far too much Delta V here. I'm going to get my periapsis down pretty close to the surface. So that'll do. There we go. Enough to meet. Okay. And then... Do, 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 do. To land, I need... What's that, about 400? I've got 600 meters a second. Oh, basically, I need to come to a dead stop, don't I? So, 600 meters a second. 
that would stop us in orbit, but... Yeah. Okay. So... Right, that one's going to go down to the... The... Um, surface Let's accelerate time just to fix the craft. There we go. And we're going to rename it. Science Rover... Moon Rover. The other one's called Science Rover Mimus, but we'll have to rename it. Okay, right, small jump cut there because I pressed the wrong button. That's right, better. Uh, so, let's um, land, shall we? Uh, Kerbin's over there. I suppose we kind of want to walk around until we get a signal. Which would be about there-ish. Then we want to land. I want to stop dead at 600 and... I'm a little concerned I don't have enough fuel to actually land. Uh, let me consult the... Um, so let's go... From low orbit to the surface is 640 meters a second. I don't think we have enough fuel to land it. I think I've messed this up. I should have brought that in closer. So I'm thinking I've messed this up. Um, let's go around to Periaps. Yeah, we've got a signal, and let's just give it a try. I don't, I don't think it's going to work. I think we're going to fail this because I've, I've misjudged what I. Have done. Let's go over there. Uh, make sure my batteries are actually facing the sun. Like so. And then we'll fire the engine and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, 21 minutes remaining. We're going to burn through our fuel, burn through our fuel way before that. Um, firing at periapsis is probably not the most efficient thing as well. There's our... Going down. Um, we do. Let's do that and then if I put a marker there and go bomb it says 300 meters a second yeah we're, we're going to go kaboomy which is what happened last time so uh, yeah I don't see this working but hey ho hey ho that's because I didn't experiment things correctly oh dear Oh, we are no, 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 we are way off, way, way off. Let's point absolutely retrograde, and uh, that is up full power. It is up full power. Now we're going to hit the surface way before we slow down. Okay, so. So I messed up. I messed up again and got things completely wrong. And we're going to crash into the surface of the moon. And there's nothing I can do about it. And we're way too fast to worry about bouncing. Yeah, oh, something went... Wait, wait, what's that? What's that? We got a wheel! Got a wheel. Well, that's an improvement on last time. That, that's that's definitely an improvement from last time. Uh, last time we, we didn't have a wheel. Last time we just went kaboom. So we are making progress. <laughs> um, yeah. Landing on the moon is way harder than landing anywhere. I should really just put like an extra fuel tank on the moon one. And then maybe allow it to jettison. 
Oh, it bounced. <laughs> it bounced. Oh, wow, that's some good rubber. That's <laughs> some really good rubber coming in at, what, what was that, about 20 meters a second? Wow, okay. And there we did. No, we bounced. Oh, kaboom. Oh. Oh. I was really hoping we successfully land something on the moon. Okay. So. That didn't work. We can't go over to that. Let's, um. Go to the tracking center. And, uh, last time we had success of getting a rover onto Mimbus. So, let's try this again. Um. And in fact, you know what? I'm just going to accelerate time here, I think. Let's have a look, see. Did I put another... Did we need another maneuver node? Or are we going to hit Mimus? We come out of here. Science delivery system battery. Oh, that's around the orbit of Mimus. I could really do with turning off the things on that. Um, no, we aren't going to hit Mimus. Okay. Let's fly this. And let's see, did I, I didn't put another maneuver node in, I thought we was going to have an in, um, an encounter with Mimbus. I guess the trajectory of, um, disconnecting the pod pushed us off slightly, which means that now we're not going to get anywhere near Mimbus. I also have a problem of that this engine only has five ignitions left, so I can't afford major. I kind of think I'm going to go out here and we'll brute force it once we're out here. I think that's going to be our best option. Let's let's walk to that's backwards. That's our ascending node. That's our descending node. Why? Hmm. Let's walk out to here somewhere. And, uh, oh, and we're still getting science being transmitted back to us, which is awesome, because we want the science. Right. And let's see. So, and you say that's the descending node, which is correct. That's not the ascending node. That's completely wrong. Not quite sure why that's there. But we're going to end up there when Mimus is here. So we need to actually fire our engine further along. Oh, no, that's not an encounter with the moon. That's, that's an encounter with the moon. We don't want that. Yeah, we need, we need to go f much further out because we need to slow right down. Uh, we we need to, yeah, we're going to be in front of Mimus. So let's do that. Ooh, wow. Okay. Maybe I don't want to do it here. Maybe I just want to go to my apoapsis and. Uh, Oh, way off what I want to do. There we go, like that. Do something like this. Which I know may seem a little weird, but... That will get us an encounter over there. In 340 days. Yeah. No, I actually kind of think I want to do it now. So let's just, just fire forwards. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the engine down so I can leave it enabled. So I'm going to keep turning on and off. So if we just point, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to point on that pink marker there, which I believe is away from the target. So Minmus would be behind us. Not that I can see Minmus. I don't have Planet Shrine installed. So actually, no, we're facing towards Minmus. Minmus would be over there somewhere, wouldn't it? There's the sun. There's the sun. There's the sun. Minimus would be behind us, be over there somewhere. But if I had 
not planet shrine uh distant object enhance which i should install because it is updated um yeah because there's yeah so mimus is over there but it will tell me exactly where it is i'm able to see it in the sky so but i'm going to point that marker which means we're firing away from Mimus, which means mimus is directly behind us and we'll fire the engine and see how we go i'm probably going to have to actually aim north as well because our descending node is going to come out there so i need to aim sort of at a 45 degree angle to move the descending node because they all kind of need to meet at exactly the same time hmm. where is mimus going to be there now i'm confused why are you flickering I think we're going to get a really close approach there. I did just turn the engine off and I said I wasn't going to do that. So that was a mistake. Maybe I just need to go up a bit. I'm going to forward time again. I'm, I'm eyeballing this. There we go. There we go. I kind of thought we was going to get an encounter at that point. That's why That's why it was the, the nodes flickering saying that basically we were at our closest approach. Because it was a little confused by it, I think. So let's focus on here. Where are we going to be? We're going to be coming in there. Which is fine, we've got plenty of fuel. So I'm not even remotely fussed by that. Let's uh oh. Let's just accelerate time till we actually hit the um Mimus's sphere of influence. And uh see if we can't do it. And what I'm gonna do is actually figure out how to get a better rover on the moon. We've got more science now, so maybe I could even build a better rover with newer and, and just generally better things, I don't know. There. Do that. There's Miss. There you are. Also, I might install object enhancement. It would help. So, if I want to. Whoa, that was really, really wrong. Really, really wrong. Don't do that. Come down slower than that, please. Thank you. <laughs> So if I want to do that, which is kind of what I want to do, and then I want to slow down to an orbit here, and then I could always increase my orbit again if I wanted to, because this has got plenty of fuel onto it. I might... What have you got? You've got telemetry. Turn that on. We can't do that because that's telemetry. Okay, so once we're done, we get the telemetry turned on. And what I might do is I might see whether we can actually send this to another planet. I don't think the antennas are good enough for that. Um, but I might see we got we got stuff going on place. Look at that. Look. Um, but I might aim for say Eve. Try and get a flyby of Eve. We've only got telemetry on this. That's the only science we've got on it. But if I can get a flyby of Eve um, and get telemetry, and then when it comes back, you can transmit it. That would give us a nice boost of science at some point in the future when we forget about it so yeah we'll see so let's stop that actually and say warp to maneuver would be so kind because i'm saying i'm leaving all these things in place i mean we've got a relay got two relays in orbit of the moon now that's this one as well we could send off somewhere because it's got plenty of fuel on board although no it hasn't got plenty of fuel on board because i don't think it's got any uh, what's it on board? Has it? It's got no um, no more ignitions. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay. So start burning. Twenty seconds. Three, two, one, fire. And it's taking so long because I've got the engine actually set down to 10%, which I forgot about. But it doesn't matter. It looks it looks pretty, doesn't it? It looks a bit puffy. That's because it's not really running at full power. But I'm not going to turn it off and change it now, because it will upset all the numbers. So let's just not do that.
Do 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 do. Then we come. And stop. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna come I'm gonna actually um use this vehicle to do it although i don't need to because these have got way enough fuel on board for mimus i know that i know they have for mimus so maybe i don't have to do that maybe maybe what i actually want to do is disconnect this now decouple oh now it goes and on the telemetry from that one turn on this and then see whether we can't get ourselves some weird encounter with some other planet from here um, what I might do actually is switch over to this and uh, actually throw it into some form of orbit. Oh, let me change that to being pilot only. Thank you. Fire. I'm going to unlock the engine. Uh, turn that on. Activate. Go. Now, this has got 138 ignitions, so we're good. Um, <laughs> I think the reason he's got so many ignitions and. Um, uh, the time there is because you would use these maneuvering no, maneuvering thrusters on a ship. You, you'd figure them out to be, you know, oh, I want to push push the craft. You know, the, the ship has come to stop, and I need to push it like right or left in order to uh, to dock. Then that's what you do. That's what you do. Right. So unintentionally, we're coming in for a landing. I didn't actually plan that I kind of wasn't paying attention so we're going to come down um yeah keep going keep going we're going to come down on top of this mountain here somewhere okay that will do that will do right let me switch back to this one And let me have a quick look because I want to fire this as close to periaps as I can. It could go around another orbit. I think it's got four days in the next orbit. Wow. Uh, let's add a move here. Oh, wow. That's actually going to cross Eve's path there. Don't know where Eve would be. Eve would be there when we get there. Okay. Wait. Let's have a look. See how close we can get to it. We might even be able to get a flyby of Moho at some point. The only problem is every time we fly by one of these worlds, they are going to cause all sorts of problems. Wow, that's. Way more fuel than we have. Oh no, it's not. It's not more fuel than we have. This is something I would need to have launched locker. So yeah, we're gonna wait for the next orbit. Okay. Okay, we're gonna wait for the next orbit. That's fine. That's fine. So let's go and land. So, um, put myself sort of there. Where's the sun? Uh, not very helpful actually. The sun's directly above us. Means none of these solar panels are going to get any real exposure, are they? Do, 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 do. Apparently, there you're getting 22%. Is that the most? That looks like the most. Okay. Right. Um, let's descend. Let's just go down. When's the uh, thing going to appear? If I'd have put a Kerbal, thing, a Kerbal Engineer one on this, it could be able to tell me earlier than Better Burn Time does. Better bird time only works at a certain height. Oh, there we go. Impact time in 90 seconds. 
be difficult to read. Uh, 40 second burn time. Okay. So we should technically fire at 20 seconds. But I'm not brave enough to do that, so I'm going to fire at 30 seconds. This is where you find out I've got it completely wrong. And uh, we should have actually fired at. No, 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 it's, it seems to be going down at the correct sort of times. The proper suicide burn would be to fire at halfway, so it said 40 seconds, we should fire at 20 seconds, and then we would just get to the surface as we hit zero. Like I said, not always brave enough to do that, so... Yeah. Oh, I also need to make sure I stay pointing retrograde. Let's turn the engine down. Turn the engine right down. There we go. In fact, turn it off because we are we are good. I don't know what the impact tolerance of these wheels are. We might be able to land on one at quite a high speed and not worry about it that much. I'd rather not. Obviously, that wouldn't be good for scientific experiments. Although it would because there are scientific experiments to uh, crash things into the surface and uh, see how well they survive or not. Ah! Ah, we were in... Ah! Ah! Right. Aha! We were in orbit mode! I was a little confused as to why we were travelling sideways when we should be travelling down. Okay. And touch. And fall forward. And turn off the SES to let us just lay down nice and flat on the surface with our brakes on. There we are. We have landed. On Mimus. Uh, what are we? We're a relay apparently. Let's go. Uh, telemetry is running. All the science running. This is awesome. Let's rename this to Science Rover Moon 2. No, not Moon, Minimus. Minimus 2, because we are the second rover to land on Minimus. And we have the Bon Voyage module, so we can tell this ship to go off and do things, whereas we couldn't do that to the other one. Which is awesome, because as stated in the last episode, um, or this episode, I'm a little confused because I've mucked up my recording times, so things are over overlapping. Uh, yeah, we can now actually drive around the surface of Minmus using Bon Voyage and go to the different biomes and everything is awesome. But that is where we are going to leave this one for today. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again next time. And until then, as always, have fun. <laughs>